fundamental thing we do is help people communicate, which is why we continue to drive forward with products like Outlook and Link, and also, frankly, why we made the decision to acquire Skype. Uh, Skype is the most popular uh, software on the planet for people who want to do real-time video connections, in addition to being, being very important in helping to people do voice and other real-time communication. And we want to connect that up from business to consumer to all parts of the planet and continue to transform the future of, in, of communication. Another big uh, sort of an effort for us in terms of transforming the future of communication is the Windows Phone. Uh, we came to market with Windows Phone about a year later than I wish we had. Shame on us. But we're moving forward very actively. We launched Windows Phone last November. We've done a set of upgrades. We have a release that will come to market later this year in Japan. Not only is it a new release, it is now much more global, but we've added over 500 new features to Windows Phone. We have a big launch event to talk about the next release of Windows Phone tomorrow, so that information will be uh, forthcoming, including some of the particulars about who's going to be building Windows Phones and which carriers will be offering them uh, here in Japan. But we're pushing a different approach to user interface design, an approach in which literally right on the home screen of the Windows Phone, you, our developers, can provide integrated experiences across your own and third-party applications that are alive and, and vibrant and real-time for our joint customers. 